Apartment dwellers in the East Village are again protected from rising rent prices now that state lawmakers have renewed rent regulation laws in New York City. The renewal passed late Friday night, although the law's amendments were not what tenant advocacy groups were hoping for. Leaders with the Cooper Square Committee chartered a bus earlier this month to Albany with local residents and held a rally against vacancy decontrol. We are going to Albany today, uh, part of the Lower East Side contingent, uh, to advocate and fight for the renewal and strengthening of the rent stabilization law, which is expiring on June 15, which is two days from now, uh, 2011. We are, we are there to put pressure on the governor to exercise leadership uh, and to get, it, to get the Senate to agree to sign off on a bill that has been passed already in, by the Assembly. Local groups like the Cooper Square Committee and the good old Lower East Side were hoping legislators would scrap the vacancy decontrol aspect of the law, which allows landlords to raise rent prices after a tenant moves out. <laughs> A breakdown of how the renewed law signed by Governor Cuomo works. In previous years, a landlord who made renovations to an apartment was allowed to charge a new tenant $1 more a month in rent for every $40 spent on renovations. Now the law is $1 for every $60. However, no matter how much landlords spend on renovations, they cannot charge more than $2,500 a month in rent. Landlords can only charge more than $2,500 a month to families whose annual income has been more than $200,000 for the past two years. Although they're happy with the renewal, tenant advocacy groups say not eliminating vacancy decontrol will continue to push people out of East Village and Lower East Side apartments. The groups will most likely fight for eliminating vacancy decontrol again in 2015 when the law expires.